Suppose that the Home Depot purchases lawnmowers for $321 each and then marks them up 29% of the selling price. At the end of the summer, let's suppose that the Home Depot is going to reduce this price to 10% above the cost price. What percentage price reduction should they show on their price tag? Let's begin by noting that the $321 is the cost price. And what we're going to do in order to determine the selling price is to take our cost price of $321 and we need to mark it up by 29% of the selling price. So we actually need to take $321 and add to that 0.29 times S. Now this is a little bit different, but we do have some like terms inside of our equation. So our goal here is gonna to be to combine these two terms containing S. And we can do that by subtraction. So I can take s, take away 0.29s. This should be equal to 321. And remember that there's actually a hidden one in front of this first s. So in order to combine these terms, we're going to go 1, subtract 0.29. And that gives us 0.71s is equal to 321. In other words, 71% of the selling price is actually our cost price of 321. In order to get to our selling price, we take 321 and we'll divide by 0.71. This tells us that our selling price is $452.11. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to determine what the reduced selling price is gonna be. Now our reduced selling price is gonna be 10% above the cost price. So our reduced selling price can be found by taking the cost price and adding to that cost price 10% of the cost. In other words, let's take 321 and add to it 10% of itself. This means that the reduced selling price is $353.10. Now we have the ability to connect the selling price and the reduced selling price with the following formula. Substituting in our reduced selling price and selling price, we get the following. Let's go ahead and divide both sides of this equation by 452.11. This is gonna allow us to remove the brackets on the right-hand side of the equation. And like we've done before, since we want to solve for the rate of markdown, let's move that over to the left-hand side. That's gonna cause it to become positive instead of negative. I'm gonna leave this one where it is, and then I'm gonna subtract the fraction 353.1 over 452.11. Performing the subtraction and rounding correctly to four decimal places, we get 0 0.219, which means that the Home Depot should be advertising a 21.9% markdown.